Welcome to Jollibee. There are over 900 of these things all over the 7,000 plus Philippine islands. Fast food lovers all over the world have one thing in common, and it's that everyone has their favorite joint. You have your favorite go-to spot for those cravings that nothing else can satisfy. It's those guilty pleasures that keep us coming back to places like Jollibee. If you're in the Philippines, then you already know how wonderful this place is. There aren't many restaurants where the entire family can eat something different and be completely satisfied. Jollibee offers such a wide variety in their menu, it's impossible for even the pickiest of eaters to walk out of the place feeling anything other than satisfied. So let's uncover the top 10 untold truths about Jollibee's part two. How many more Jollibee's are coming? Jollibee is going worldwide. How many are you planning to open in Canada? 100 stores in the next five years. If you recently visited the Philippines, then you've probably got a hankering for some Jollibee. The good news for you is they are expanding all over the world. You may be shocked to learn that Jollibee even has restaurants in America. The lovers of this iconic fast food joint should rejoice in the fact that someday soon, a restaurant may be located near them. You can't keep a good thing like Jollibee secret from the world. Seems like everybody's got a secret but us, huh guys? Why would anyone want to keep spaghetti with cut up hot dogs to themselves? Food this good needs to be enjoyed and shared with as many people as possible. The good folks over at Jollibee are making sure that happens. It's always a good idea to bookmark the Jollibee site and keep an eye on their newest locations. You can also search Google or Google News for any upcoming locations that may be opening. Anyone who thinks this is going to an extreme has never eaten at this fantastic place. It's it's easy to become addicted to a restaurant that serves a little bit of everything. Who doesn't want to sit down to a piece of fried chicken and a burger? Who needs vegetables when there are so many tasty and filling foods being served under one roof? But aren't vegetables still just gross, tasteless rabbit food? Tuna pie. Full grown 800 pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends? You lose that battle. Strangely, more fast food restaurants don't have tuna. It seems that almost every fast food chain has a signature fish sandwich. Think about it. Even Arby's has a fish sandwich. Yes, that place where you go to eat roast beef sells fish sandwiches. If you didn't know they served fish sandwiches, this is probably just blowing your mind. All of the big names have a fish sandwich, but none of them are made out of tuna. Well, none except for Subway. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. They're one of the few big names in the business that has tuna on the menu. Everyone who frequents Jollibee always keeps a lookout for their tuna pie. It's one of those seasonal items that makes people flock to their nearest location when they are available. The tuna pie would resemble a kicked up version of a tuna hot pocket if they made such a thing. If you're a tuna lover and haven't had one of these, it's time to change that. These things are so good, you may want to put one in the freezer so you can eat it after the promotional time has expired. See that sign? It says 100% guaranteed. Aloha Yum Burger. Aloha. I mean, it just sounds magical. Does the idea of pineapple on a hamburger sound good to you? If so, then you probably like pineapple on top of everything. Admit it, there are some of you who love pineapple on your pizza. You're a breed all of your own. It's not far-fetched to believe that you'd like pineapple on other things. No one is going to judge you for wanting to eat pineapple in your breakfast cereal. And he's gonna do it through breakfast cereal. It's kind of weird, but fruit is part of a healthy diet. A restaurant using pineapple as a means of making us feel like less of a glutton is a good thing. The Aloha Yum Burger sounds like something that came straight from Hawaii. It's a burger with cheese, bacon, honey mustard, and pineapple. Does that sound scrumptious? If so, then you need to make sure Jollibee is on your travel itinerary. Sure, it's a bit of a way to go to eat a burger, but this isn't any ordinary burger, it has pineapple on it. You know all too well that your favorite joint isn't going to be putting pineapple on a burger anytime soon. So like pineapple in there or something? Yes. Hence the aloha. The Jolly Bee Halo Halo is a foreign treat. I mean, it's delicious, but how is it made? Let's find out.
Many of you have never stepped foot in the Philippines, but that doesn't stop you from enjoying Jollibee. They are expanding, and some may be surprised to learn that their foreign menu has items on it that the domestic version doesn't. If you live in the Philippines, we're sorry to break this news to you. It's a tough pill to swallow to learn that there are menu items that you can't get elsewhere. Don't cry a river just yet. Jollibee may come to their senses and sell the Halo Halo in the Philippines. The Jollibee Halo Halo Sunday is a colorful ice cream treat like no other. It's the perfect way to end a Jollibee meal. There are many different fruity toppings to choose from, even coconut. One coconut, Mr. Christian? It's also a cool way to beat the heat on a hot summer day. If you have a Jollibee location near you and you're not in the Philippines, then you should thank your lucky stars. There are folks over there who'd dance a jig for a bite of a Halo Halo Sunday. Part of every Pinoy Filipino's life. Halo Halo. Jollibee made a guest appearance in a Marvel comic. Stan Lee! Creator of Marvel Comics? Comic books are one of the forms of printed media that are still going strong today. Magazines and newspapers are all but a thing of the past. Comic books have a loyal following that seem to continue generation after generation. You'd think that with today's electronic gadgets, the colorful tales of superheroes would be a thing of the past. Today, comic books are still on the shelves, and their new releases are anticipated by loyal fans all over the globe. Some might be shocked to learn that Jollibee was featured in an Avengers comic book. That's what we call ourselves, sort of like a team. Earth's Mightiest Heroes type thing. It was Avengers Menace of the Mole Man. The comic book is as exciting as it sounds. Mole Man wants to bring doom to Manila and an earthquake to a Jollibee store. It's a good thing that it was all fiction, as an earthquake could put a hamper on the food everyone knows and loves. Anyone from the Philippines who read the comic book had to be on the edge of their seat in sheer terror, as the possibility of an earthquake hitting their favorite greasy spoon seemed a reality. Reality can be whatever I want. Jolly Spaghetti. Remember when your mother taught you how to eat spaghetti? Spaghetti is a rarity in the world of fast food. Unless you're fortunate enough to live near a Fazoli's, you've probably never eaten spaghetti at a fast food restaurant. There have been a few attempts by McDonald's over the years to serve up spaghetti at locations around the world. It has never taken off, and that's what makes Jollibee even more special. Somehow, they're able to pull off the one thing that no one else seems to be able to. Some of it is probably due to their location, but it has to be something bigger than that. Is it possible that a restaurant in the Philippines could perfect a dish that originated in Italy? Anyone who has eaten their spaghetti seems to think so. What exactly is Jolly Spaghetti? It's spaghetti noodles covered in delicious tomato sauce. There's also creamy shredded cheese on top. What did you do with the cheese, Roger? The word creamy is their way of describing the cheese, not ours. If all that wasn't enough, then they add sliced up hot dogs. Maybe that's what the Italian version is missing. Meat in tube form seems popular all over the globe. You've probably never thought about slicing a hot dog on top of your spaghetti. These aren't any ordinary hot dogs, and somehow it works on top of a heap of noodles, sauce, and cheese. Yeah. Jolly Bee Breakfast. I don't know when I've ever had a nicer a nicer breakfast. We all know McDonald's is world famous for their breakfast. Some people wouldn't touch a McDonald's cheeseburger with a 10-foot pole. Those same people would scarf down a sack of Egg McMuffins without thinking twice about it. It's no surprise that other fast food restaurants would want to tackle McDonald's head-on and serve up breakfast. It also shouldn't be too surprising that Jollibee would want to take on this challenge. If anyone loves bringing competitors to their knees, it would be Jollibee. They are ruthless when it comes to delivering a product that's so good their competition can only hope the company doesn't plan on expanding further. The Jollibee Sausage Muffin with Egg was only available in Hong Kong of all places. Why it didn't have a broader rollout is anyone's guess. Good guess. Also, it's currently not on the menu. Don't let the tears of sadness begin to flow just yet, as no one knows why the sandwich is gone. It wouldn't be too surprising their sausage muffin with egg pops up in different eateries around the world. Breakfast is enormous, and it's an opportunity for Jollibee to expand even further. Who knows what they have coming down the pike in the not-so-distant future. In the meantime, I guess we'll have to settle for their regular breakfast yum burger. Yummy! Cheesy classic Jolly Bee hot dog. Let's use this hot dog as a metaphor. 
Hot dogs are something that often get overlooked these days. They are the ultimate fast food. Anyone who lives in New York City knows how invaluable hot dogs are. There are those busy days when you don't have the time to do anything at all. Still, you can spare five seconds to run down to your local hot dog stand to get a bite to eat. Jollibee understands the lure and value of having a hot dog on their menu. They also understand how to dress up a hot dog so it looks like it's fit for a walk on the red carpet. No one will ever say that Jollibee's hot dogs are ordinary by any stretch of the imagination. Imagination. What makes the cheesy classic Jollibee hot dog so amazing? It's right there in the name. It's all about the cheese. The average hot dog should walk away in disgust after seeing how this feast on a bun is dressed. Jollibee smothers their hot dogs in cheese and even adds more dairy delight with their cheesy sauce. That's a a whole lot of cheese to enjoy in one bite. A little bit of ketchup evens out the flavor profile to waken up your taste buds after being awash in creamy goodness. Cheese lovers will get their fix when ordering just one of these hot dogs. Do you want one of the hot dogs? It's all about the chicken joy. Is is this chicken? Who doesn't love the crispy goodness that is fried chicken? Jollibee is one of the few restaurants that can give KFC a run for its money. Which is kind of strange, considering we're talking about a place that serves up so many different types of food. Fried chicken lovers shouldn't scoff at the idea of getting their fix at a place that also serves spaghetti, burgers, and rice dishes. At first glance, it almost sounds like someone is trying to pull a joke on the public. The chicken joy at Jollibee is no joke, and there it has a loyal, dedicated fan base to prove it. The sides that are available for your chicken joy dinner depend on where you're from. If you're in the Philippines, you have a choice of mashed potatoes, rice, or spaghetti. Spaghetti Angel! I'm making a spaghetti angel! That sounds like quite a gut bomb with the fried chicken, because it is. Other locations around the world may also offer a rice side dish and corn as well. They are famous for their corn and butter sauce. Ask the cashier what sides are available, and they'll be more than happy to make you drool all over yourself. If you've never eaten any fried chicken other than that made by Colonel Sanders, you're in for a real shock. Don't be surprised if this ends up being your new favorite fried chicken. They love chicken. <laughs> Jolly Bee has many halal outlets in Singapore. Would you like some of my meat fushnush? It's a chicken that has been yelled at for two hours. Jolly Bee is doing its best to appeal to as many customers as possible. Those living in Singapore will be glad to hear that several locations are halal. It's a brilliant move on their part to become halal as it opens up the door for many more hungry customers. It also signals that they have plans far beyond the Philippines. Fast food restaurants that cater to the most people are the ones who have the biggest amount of success. It's time to get you on the path to success. The higher-ups at Jollibee no doubt have a full grasp of this concept. They must have seen the writing on the wall, as other restaurants were satisfying the needs of customers who are seeking halal food. Let's be clear and say that not all Jollibee locations are halal. If this is important to you, then find off a kind email to Jollibee headquarters. If they hear from more customers who want halal products, they probably will listen. They've already proven a desire to service customers who only eat halal foods. There's an excellent chance they will expand their halal offerings if the public speaks up and wants it. Mm. Oh, you can really taste the fear in the chicken. Spend a little more time with us by checking out another one of our great videos. All you need to do is tap on that screen. And to join our notification squad, just hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you're checking us out for the first time.